I would never use to. I would never Nekumari think to use the same answer done. twice. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. Huh? Me? Remember when we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? We thought the body had moved, and that's when you said. Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Grape Tower, right? The killer couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body, so they couldn't have built a dummy. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. You are joking, right? It's alright. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. I see. That is disappointing. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm even more disappointed. <laughs> That's disappointing that you're not the killer, Kazuichi. What the hell? I, I, there's something wrong with Sonya and Nagito. I don't understand. However, even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it was simply moved? The body moved to a different floor? You can't think of a device like that? A device that moves things to different floors in the same building? A device like that? You mean an elevator? A device that transports things to different floors in the same building? I feel like I've seen that before. Alright, let's do this. Please don't make me fucking... I Really? Hangman's Gambit? It's an elevator, you dickheads. Fucking, where's the E at? I'ma prove you wrong now. I don't know how to spell elevator, but I'll, I'll do it. Uh, another E. I need an L. Elevator. Where's a V? I need a V. V. I need an O. Can I? I would like to buy a vowel, please. Can I have an O? Where's an R? Elevator. Oh, you son of a bitch! Elevator. I got it. So, when we first entered the funhouse, I thought they were the same building. I was right. I also thought that the fact that the elevator would just go vertically up and down, I was also right. What I didn't think was that the uh was that the big circle room which i forgot the name of that room but the big circle room i didn't think that was an elevator room what are you saying nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator where the hell is this elevator anyway it's the tower itself the inside of the tower is one big elevator which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room, right? So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive just like an elevator. <laughs> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower? If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. I mean... Not the whole room, like it moves up and then it appears at one door and it moves down and it appears on another. I don't see the problem. Plus, after the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? The 
But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. <laughs> there are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? When you see people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What did you say? Yeah, Cheeky, what the fuck are you saying? So, let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? The things that didn't change when we moved between the towers. That includes the body, the pillar, and the oil. We've been taking. We've been talking about that shit for a while now. There should be anything about the fact that all move with the elevator. What? Okay. The one thing they all have in common. They were all on the floor. I see! Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? Yeah. I'm not saying the whole room is an elevator, I'm just saying that the floor is the elevator. And you go up and it appears at one door, and go up here. I, I don't see what the confusion there was. And? And? Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. It's an enormous circle. You can enter one side at a time. There's no ceiling. Only the floor moves. I see! Yeah, there's no... What? Where was the confusion in that? I don't the understand. Was the only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. I've been saying that for for a long time. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Grave Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, the different door on the far back wall had a grape design. Alright, now the only thing that only makes sense to me as to why this can be physically impossible is because if you did that then the floor on the first floor the doorknobs would have broken all the fucking time but this is anime so it doesn't matter then where do the different floors lead to the outside i want to say they lead outside but they're probably just for show yeah that too because if it let, if the top one led to the outside, then why well, you're taking a fucking you're taking a dive. Just for show. Why was something like that necessary? To complete the illusion of the funhouse. So we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. <laughs> what? Like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was... Probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair the button, but seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob? Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall button, so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the Funhouse. 
The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. And what would that be, Gundam? What a pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. <laughs> wow. You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? I see. Now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically, then, when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. I mean, if Kazuichi's account is anything, he said that the elevator spun 180 degrees. But, does this reflect reality? Inside Great House, Great Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? I agree. What does it mean? Huh. If the two houses are connected vertically, the position of the tower should be the same in both houses. But in fact, when my back is facing the elevator in Grape House, the tower was on my right. And when my back is facing the elevator in Strawberry House, the tower is on my left. How can I break through this contradiction? It, it spun 180 degrees. Contact elevator, Kazuichi's account. Um, is Kazuichi's account that it spun? That it spinned? Put a spin on things? Let me see. Kazuichi's account! His bank account. Yep, the needle spun 180 degrees. Two houses are connected vertically. So, Kazuichi's account. Should move. Vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Fucking move that shit out of my face. What? My bad. Damn it! I thought that was. Never mind. If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses. Shit. If the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? So Gundam and Sonya have matched arguments. Sounds like it makes sense, but it's really correct. If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. Okay, there we go. It was the first one. Never mind. Yeah. Sonya, why are you helping Gundam if he's the murderer? It's obvious he's the murderer. You wanna know why? He had his fucking little ham taros fucking press the button on 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 Nekomaru's back. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? huh? Me? It, come on. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Ah, uh, that. Yeah. It was pretty strange. From start to finish, 
Somehow, the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. It... was probably following the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves? Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. Or something from a fun house of values. Well, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. That's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm different from these lowly humans. So we're done with the secret of the fun house, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how'd they combine it with the pillar? Huh? You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the Octagon, you know? What is the Octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh my... I can't believe I have to explain that now. Yeah, what the fuck is the Octagon? Do you mean... Are you... Are you... Eh, whatever. As long as you know what an Octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. What does Octagon mean? It has eight shapes! Hey! Eight sided shapes! If I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. I didn't expect you to know that an octagon is eight sided shape. You learned that in like fucking kindergarten, dude. What the hell is wrong with you? I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? A weaponry! Fitting place named Octagon is probably the Grape of the House. D -d 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 -d. Grape House is Octagon, but it isn't Grape House excited? Crap! I guess you can have an Octagon within the circle. Crap! Guess you can have an Octagon within the square. Guess you can have an octagon fucker. Crap! What the what the what then the elevator? What the fuck? What are Crap. we doing here? Guess we can have an octagon within the ground. Crap! I died. That's what happened. That's how I died, guys. What the fuck? What kind of bullshit is this? Yes, I would love to retry. So, I... Mm, maybe you can have the octagon within the middle? I don't fuck... Wait, what? I, how do you... How do you shape good? Spot selection. Okay. Select a suspicious spot. Top of the tower? I don't know. It wouldn't be top... Of, it has to be over here because of the picture he took, right? So, uh... I want to say like the bottom floor or something. It's six-sided. Crap! Crap! I mean, I chose the tower, and he's all like, "But that's a circle. You can't have the circle in the circle." Crap! <laughs> Can't be in the hallway. <gasps> Wait a minute. How do you do math good? I can't. The elevator? But why? Mm, everyone's staring at me. I just made a fucking fool of myself. In the sky! Crap! In the ground! Oh shit, my bad. I didn't mean to click the tower. See, my... I thought it would just be like on, the, on somewhere, like a basement. Eh. Oh well. 
Can you can you tell I'm at the point where I give up on life? Here. You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. I'm sorry, what? See, when I said it would be in the middle, I didn't actually mean it. I didn't, what? Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? See, my idea is just like, you can just make a fucking, you can just make an octagonal shape and then just add more, more filling within the walls and then, oh, there's the shape of your room. If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. That's basically the gist of it. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. Learned? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the funhouse. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scenery. So what, did he like... Hmm. Did... Alright, the only thing I can think of is like you put Nekomaru in the elevator and then you press the button and then, then the room goes and then he dies due to impact of, of some sort? And then thought of a way to kill making use of the building structure. The funhouse itself is the weapon, so they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. The funhouse is the true identity of the ultimate weapon? What does it mean? How the killer used the murder how you did the fuck fuck! How the killer use it to murder Nekamaru? I'm sorry, I like I had a moment where I forgot how to read. And it made me very angry. And who killer who did it? Who's the killer? We all know it's Gundam. Hiya! Oh take stretch. Alright. Hello there. I thought of a bad of, of a new bad word call to call Minomi. What? I can already tell I won't be pleased by this. Then let me say it right away. <laughs> I'm already used to insults. I'm sorry, I had like a little hiccup. I'm already used to insults and slander. There's no way I'll get hurt by a mere word. Minomi is a serious stuff. What stuff at stuff fatally? What the fuck? That that's much more straightforward than I expected. Stuff fatally, huh? Tisk kiss tis. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it at all. Stupid, fat, and ugly. The perfect jet stream attack incorporating all three of these words. Ta-da, stuffugly. Huh? What? Well, there's a fat hidden in there? Okay, everyone. All together now. Monami is a serious stufatly. Oh, stufatly. That's how you say that. Stufatly. Would you like to say progress? Sure, why not? I mean, I don't fucking quit to pick up. Hit up, hit up, hit up, hit up, hit up, hit up. Hello! I hope your day is well. My day isn't well, but thanks for asking. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. Ugh, my heart's thumping like crazy. I might as well have a layback, so what? Attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. And just like I say each time, don't forget to say it frequently. Frequently. I. I never.
expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well, let's just press on ahead. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? I is it really alright to accept a situation so easily? No, it's fine. I mean, that's not what's important. The thing that's really important is the killer who used the building structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but... I will sincerely retract that remark. Retract? I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods, per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. It's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. Uh, Akane! You're drooling waterfalls? Naito, as usual, I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea if, he, uh, if he's serious anyway, or not. If the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomaru. They slammed him into the ceiling, like, really hard. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Nekomaru's cause of death. He was horribly damaged, and as he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten with a blunt object, there would have been a kill that utilized the build. Wait, what? It wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have be a kill that utilized the building structure. Jesus Christ. So, what was Nagamaru's death cause? Also, utilized the building structure. Falling, crushed by elevator, beaten with a blunt object. It's either one of these. I'm gonna go with falling. I see. Don't tell me I was right where they just put him in the elevator, press the button, and then wee Right? Uh, that's it. I think he might be dead from falling. Died from falling. Funhouse's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected. Then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That, I don't know yet. <laughs> Don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Hmm. But my gut is going crazy right now. If Nekomaru died from falling, where'd the killer shove Nekomaru from? If I'm going to reach the truth behind the incident, I need to solve that mystery next. Alright, making some arguments. Kane's account free, he goes account contact elevator, broke door knob. Alright. Strange feeling in tower. Here's the answer, strange feeling in tower again? Uh. When the elevator is on the first floor. Alright, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta go over some things. Akane's account. Apparently Akane heard the rumbling noise around 5.30. Okay. Apparently for you saw Nakamura walking towards the first floor. Alright. The contact elevator used to move between both houses broken and no longer worked. Alright. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor, huh? It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Nekamaru inside the elevator... They moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? 
long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Well, I mean, he's robotic. Means the elevator wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator. When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Which means the elevator wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator. I got it. I know what it is. All right. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> got it. You can't go through the door. It'd be impossible. Then, after Good night, button and move and not move, but moving object. Forget the elevator has. As long as there's a moving object inside. Got it. That's wrong. I don't know why it took me so long to get that. That sensor should only work if something is moving. If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be his sleep mode? When Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down and he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? I see. So that's how... However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from, yes? Unless you guys tied him to the ceiling with a wire, I guess? I don't know. That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Silence, pest! Now you're calling me a pest?! A way to create a drop inside the elevator while Nekomaru was still in it. Chiki seems to have an idea, but what could that be? Make your argument. I'm gonna go with wire. I'm definitely gonna go with wire. If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. Nope. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? Silence, pest! Don't be so cold. What if I start to enjoy it? Huh? If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? Nope. Crap! If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop. So you're hmm. trying to think about the arrangement. That arrangement. The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? I don't know, I just Crap. think the pillar on the wires. If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? If you arrange it a certain way, 
You can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all... to think about the arrangement, right? I don't know. That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. I don't think it's the hammer. Isn't it about time we went over I the I thought it was the again? pillar. What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? Silence! Don't. What if I start to enjoy it? Okay. If Nekamaru is inside the elevator, how can you create a difference in elevation? I gotta think about that. What the fuck? I thought the pillar... I mean, the pillar makes the most sense to me. If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? I just... I... What do you... What do you want me... What do you want me to do? Crap. What do you want me to do here? If you arrange it, you can cause the drop. So you're telling to think about the arrange that arrangement. The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? Grab it. Why won't you grab it? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can only on grab the, the other thing. God damn it. Oil the on, the on the floor. It seems suspicious. Door not broken on the floor. How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? So oh shit! Wait a minute. You might be right. Hold up. Don't be. What if I start to enjoy Wait, it? Wait, Fihiko, you might be right. If you arrange it, you can cause the drop. So you're telling to think about the arrangement. That arrangement. The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went? What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. There you go. You tie him to the doorknob with the wire. That's what they did. I'm sitting there. I'm like, why is the doorknob broken? What the fuck? What does that got to do with anything? I'm so fucking stupid. Didn't the doorknob have scrape marks on it? That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekamaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... If, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in mid-air! That's right. He was suspended in mid-air. Huh? The killer tied up Mekamara with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they move the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. And suspended Mekamaru in midair. That's right! He was so well hung! <laughs> Kinda like. You better not finish that sentence! The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekamaru could fall to his death. Too easy! What? I'm sorry? So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that! Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in mid-air like that, then how do you get him to fall? I don't know, maybe one of Gundam's fucking Hamtaros chewed the wire. Cause if he's suspended in mid-air, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Wire, tipped over pillar, feel like hammer, alarm clock, broken doorknob. I mean, doorknob is broken, so. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Fall? There's no one in the tower to push it. There's no way they could do that. Hold up, Kazuichi. Ha! Huh. Make him fall. Yeah. There's no one in the tower to push it. Watch There's out. No way they could do that. Wow. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that. <laughs> Now's the time if you put in that case. You still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru is just impossible. End of story. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? I'm sorry, wait, what? No, we gotta speed that one up. Hold up. 
you still won't be able to exp moving the elevator with because I was too late it hit the other one by accident shit wait do that again do that again Nekomaru fell on his own okay hold up what Nekomaru fell on his own tipped over pillar Nekomaru should have still look at hammer if he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. Alarm clock. <laughs> Now's the time, but in that case, you still won't be able to... Move His alarm clock went off and he woke impossible. up. End of story. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode. Allow me to cut through those... There we go. I didn't know the alarm clock was one of the... Uh, one of the what words I had. What if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why, if something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekamaru probably did exactly that. And then, in order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer too? Most likely. Well, that's probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that even happened was because... In the case, I shall use my full power. With a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing Dorna with both hands. But, clatter, 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 clatter. <sighs> Not yet. Here it comes, the incredible strength of a million horsepower. That's my war cry. Wait, isn't it cracking? Creaking? My bad, not cracking. Smoking that cracking? No, I mean creaking. <laughs> Isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck. Doorknob? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Is that really what it was? Then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. Do you finally understand now? Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so! Excuse me? No, I believe you gave your all. Hey! Why aren't you teasing me anymore? This guy... He gets off on this! So thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? It doesn't mean Nekomaru will crash straight onto the floor. He probably landed on the pillar, bam, toppled the pillar over. Because he's fucking mechanical body. The moment Nekomaru fell to the floor, the only thing I can think happened was... He collided with the pillar. See. When Nekomaru fell to the floor, he ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Finally, the pillar! So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. Well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m., and if we map it out from there, Hold on, baby gangster. Baby gangster, I like it. Stop calling me baby gangster. What'd you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7:30 a.m.? You, you didn't check it yourself. 
Nekamaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? Th that's what I want to know! Another mystery I don't understand, seriously, isn't just one after another? But I can't choke up at a time like this. Just a little more and I'll be able to reach the truth. There should definitely be a clue to breaking through this contradiction. Making some arguments. Let's go. Wall clock. I guess for Yuhiko's account, I mean... We headed for Grape Tower. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. Uh-huh. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. That's gotta be it! The alarm that caused Nakamaru's death rang 7.30 a.m., but when discovered by anyone. What if they didn't tamper with Nakamaru's clock, but they tampered with the wall clock instead? We headed for Grape Tower. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. Okay. But the alarm inside Nakamaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Nakamaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion! The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. That's what the clock. What the hell? Okay, wait, hold on. Damn it! We headed for Grape Tower. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. I'm sorry, let me see. There's a lot of clocks here on my fucking thing. Alright, hold up, hold up. Wall clock. At 5 a.m., the alarm wall clock at the last strawberry house, second floor, uh, started going off. Alright, so that's the wall clock. Clock alarm timer. Okay. Radio clock. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest. Was set for 7.30 a.m. Nekomaru died this time of death and one of those must- The killer probably did something probably messed with the clock and- He has a radio Nekomaru's clock. It wouldn't be messed no, up. Wrong. His time is accurate and our time is not. No, the clock inside his chest was a radio clock, so it would have been impossible to mess with. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with a clock? No way. Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. The clock inside Grape House? No, I checked all the clocks inside the Fun House. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. So all the clocks inside the Fun House is wrong. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Please believe me, we are not lying! Then, maybe it's a misunderstanding? I never misunderstand! I'll crush you into dog food! This time-related conducted- uh, fuck. This time-related contradiction, I don't think I could- I should doubt the testimonies. I should doubt the clocks. There's no mistake that something was done, but... What was it? Hmm. Perhaps we've overlooked something, maybe we're misunderstanding something. Think. If I focus and think, I should be able to find the answer. Don't make me do a logic dive, please. God damn it. We don't need to do that. The, 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 clocks, were, the clocks are just wrong. Fucking Monokuma's a dickhead and the funhouse clocks are wrong. There's nothing. We don't need to do this. We ain't gotta do this like this. Come on, man.
speed boost. Speed boost. Question one. What did Hajime and the others misunderstand? Where the murder happened? The time, uh, the time in the building, who the killer is. I'm just gonna go with time in the building. Onward to the next question. Oh, you want me to jump over? God damn it. Question number two, which clock was tampered with? The building's clock. Can't be both. At first I thought it was Nakamaru's clock, but can't be. Is this the last question? Oh no, it's not. God damn it, come on. Unnecessary logic dive that we're doing here. Here we go, question three. Which house had the wrong time? Both house. Both houses. The fun house is just wrong and, and, and fucking Monokuma is an asshole. It's all coming together! <laughs> 